Okay, we're back to let's play costume rest, and now we're gonna bash through this thing and fall down here. And we fall down the pumpkin on the first floor. So we can open this chest, and inside it is glitter. So we got the unicorn costume. All right, I'm gonna show it in battle once on Orn, but then later I'm going to switch it to Lucy because its special ability is better than what Lucy has right now. Let's go back to the store. I'm higher level, and there was stuff there I couldn't buy before. Uh, what's new? The flying tombstone and the albino black cat. The flying tombstone greatly increases HP. The bio cat adds greater chance of dodging enemy attacks. I will buy it. And I'll buy the witch's brew. Instead of using just the moving tombstone, Lucy will be wearing the flying tombstone. And I guess I'll switch over to the witch's brew for now. You can still be wearing something similar to that later anyway. Let's see what Sandy's father has to say. That's my little Sandy over there, budding entrepreneur. She just didn't come into the room with me tonight and set up her own little pretend shop. Guess she really just wants to be like her old man, eh? Well, she does, she does know she's helping us fairly. I still don't have that extra cinnamon brain. No, I don't. Um. Well, I guess we can go to the day old taco store. And there's nice safe mall, no fast cars, no mean dogs, and something else you probably said, but I didn't read it. Electric bagel land. Okay. Half off today, yes. I'm talking about your head. That's actually one of the funnier lines of the Trobug saving it from the so I turned into a pony that doesn't look like any of the My Little Ponies. I guess you could say Rainbow Dash, even though that's armor, not hair, that's the color. But other than that, not really anything. We'll go after the other thing. Its special attack is just like the knight. You have to hit it immediately. And that troll bug is poison because of the witch's bird. And Lucy has over 200 HP because of the moving tombstone or the, the, the flying tombstone or whatever it was. The poison I assume will kill the guardsman, I mean the grenader, so I'm not going to try attacking him. And now they're both poisoned. Now, even though this move is not needed, my pretty pantsia. Yeah, the show was originally called the toys were originally called Pretty Pony back in 1981. When the show came out in '84, it was changed to My Little Pony. My pretty pantsia is actually a good name for this because pantsia means universal remedy. It heals any character you choose on your team, even if they're knocked out to full. With the rainbow of harmony, or whatever you want to call it. I mean, I mean, it was com came to be like the, uh, with the elements of harmony, but whatever it is, either way, it killed that enemy, and I get, uh, pimples as my new creepy treat card between the frozen butter and the sweet pad on the second page in the middle. There are still monsters running around here, like that guy. Which means, back to Ninja, and you are going to wear a unicorn. And what do you have to say? Those arcade monsters said I could see my parents again, but I mean, still haven't dropped the rest of it. The restaurant order. I never want to play another video game, ever. So, they're apparently... They're not thanking me for what I did for them, freeing them from the monsters. Great. 
and they should be. And this guy is totally optional because I don't have to go back to the area, but I like killing monsters. I have a murder monster compulsion. And I knocked him down to one measly hit. That's when splash damage would be very useful. If he uses healing, yeah, it will cure poison on anyone who has poison. Although if I use healing too, it will cure fire, poison, or whatever ailment they might put on me. Helm is down to three hits. I really hate it when I do all almost enough damage to kill the enemy. Why not? More sludge, more candy, more EXP. Or XP, actually, in this sense. I mean... I guess I better go back up to the third floor. Although this falling down or on purpose or optional isn't all that great. But what are my quests, anyway? Four more stars to, uh, to a trick-or-treat at. And find the kids and get another brain card. Cinnamon brain card. Back to the third floor I go. Okay, there's a guy on the second floor. I could go back and kill him, but I don't want to. Let's see, up here. Hey, there's a kid. I found purple monster. Show my slime beetle creepy tree card. Can you get it back for me? I'll give you a card. I'll give you any card you need. I don't have to remember that monster coming by. I bother you anymore. My slime is here. Here. Do you have this one? No, I need that. Thanks. So I gave him an extra slime beetles card apparently, which I didn't know I had. Oh yeah, that's the first thing. And he gave me. Something I need, which I don't know what that is. I'm assuming I had a. Oh, it's on the third page. It's a uh, misfortune cookie. Alright, I want to go past this waterfall so the night suit is needed for a second to open this. And inside it is candy. Were you expecting anything else? There's a trail bug coming. Get this on. Go invisible. And it's monster mashing time. And I get to turn into symbiote Spider-Man. Bruiser and Grenader. Uh, the Bruiser has more health. I think the Grenader actually can burn you though. I'm probably entirely wrong on this part, but it doesn't really matter who I take it first. And now he's poisoned. So this doesn't kill him, and neither will the poison. And will next turn. And can he burn you? No, he cannot. So it doesn't really matter who I took it first. Except I really didn't take it the first guy. Well, anyway, this battle is nearly over. I mean, both my enemies are poisoned. One of them's gonna die for it, the other one is not. The other one will do quite a bit of damage to my pretty pony. And I got another edible hat. Well, see you next part.